Praise God, praise God, as you can see my title, praise God. Um, one of the things that God was talking to me also about since, actually for about, I would say since Friday, um, growth, growth. And I'm going to be very transparent as I always am. God was telling me, he said, one thing, and it's, it's crazy how God, God gives you compliments. He really does. So, you know, you're not crazy if you hear the spirit of God. Now, I didn't say be arrogant and all that crazy stuff. No. Um, sometime I hear God says, I'm proud of you. And I said, oh, thank you, God. And I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually true. And one of the things that God likes about me is I, be, I am teachable and reachable. Y'all ain't ready for me. I, I, I remain humble. Nobody can blow my head up, meaning that, no, I'm not that great. The devil is a lie. I'm not going to let you put that arrogant spirit, prideful spirit or anything on me. But one of the things that God was saying is that we have to stop hindering your own growth in God because of offense, emotions, causes you to make wrong choices. But if you look at my title, it says spiritual maturity. It keeps you humble. It keeps you teachable. You got to remain teachable. God was showing me something, especially among Christians these days, or even just people. People get so easily offended. That's why you're seeing more murders, rage. It's called the spirit of rage. It's never one spirit that works by itself. It's always a lot of spirits. You know what I'm saying? So if you have the spirit of greed, I promise you there's spirit, there's um what, right, um, selfishness, um, pride. I mean, everything works together. All right. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let me walk this thing out. I have never gotten to the point and hold on. I mean, I don't know if y'all realize I'm ordained as a reverend, a chaplain. I got all this stuff. You never even hear me talk about all that because I could care less about that. I thank God for it. Don't get it twisted because if he told me to go do it, I did it. But that's not what I'm saying. So just listen very carefully. I'm still remain teachable. I can learn from anybody. I can learn from one of you. That's the way we're supposed to do it. We're never supposed to get to the point where I have arrived. I know people that are 90 years old and still have a, a teachable spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere. Too many people, you feel like as though you have arrived. Arrived where? Where are you arrived? We're supposed to always be learning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Growing in the Lord. Sowing in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Showing love in the Lord. God is not. God is not um, pleased with this present day church because number one, the number one thing is offense. You get so offensive till you start gossiping. N now you're sitting up there trying to assassinate your brothers and sisters character. And I'm going to walk this thing out. Have you ever been mad with someone? And then you want to get everybody else mad with them. It's almost like, remember in high school and everybody, ho hopefully everybody went, or uh, went to school, something. And it's just like high school or grade school, whatever. Um, you have a best friend and let's say they get into it with a mutual friend. They trying to convince you to be on their side, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. God says, stop this foolishness. You're supposed to be neutral, trying to bring people together, not push them apart. But when we get, but let me tell you where that, where that comes from. That comes from the manipulation, manipulation, which is witchcraft. Well, I'm mad at her or him. So I want y'all to be mad at him and her. Y'all know what I'm saying. God says, stop that. You're hindering your own growth in the Lord because of offense and emotions. When you are emotional people, I'm going to tell you right now, you will make so many wrong choices because you're emotional. Let me tell you something, how, how I've learned to do this and how I'm still learning to do this. When I get upset these days, instead of running on the phone or calling somebody, trying to make somebody look bad, the first thing I do is I start praying. God, you saw what happened. God, you heard what happened. Calm me down. If I got to scream, if I got to holler, it's just me and God. If I got to say things, I got no business, just me and God. And then he could tell me, my hello, he could tell me what to do. And and not only that, I don't know. I think I've said it on one other video. One day I was fussing. I was talking to God about something. You know what God told me? God said, there's three sides to a story. I said, God, what are you saying? He said, there's their side, your side. And then he said, then there's my side. And he said, both of y'all are wrong. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me. Because nothing is as it seems sometimes. And even if you write, you could be wrong in the way that you deliver it. You could be wrong in the way that you talk about that person with another person. Well, I'm going to walk this thing out. Some of you going to like it. Some of you not. 
just like a mother and a, a child or a father and a child. Let's say you get mad with your neighbor or whatever. And yet you go back in the house and you start telling your children. Now you got your children looking at that neighbor all kind of craziness because you're mad. You, you, y'all get the drift what I'm saying, right? That's all emotional stuff. And that's what's happening in the body of Christ. This is what's happening in life. People are getting easily offended because first of all, you don't know how to communicate. The first thing is God says you have to learn how to effectively communicate. And we're not talking about cursing nobody out. If you have a problem with somebody, people, you're supposed to, the Bible says, let's go biblical applications. The Bible says you're supposed to go to that brother or that sister. Hey, can I talk to you? And to be honest with you, if y'all don't do it in front of people, y'all can really, if y'all can't get to a conclusion, at least y'all can talk it out. But notice when people are around, that's when stuff start. Because now each person is trying to prove their point in front of the other people. That's how argument starts. That's how fight starts. That's how... People get killed. Truth be told. God said, first of all, you got to calm down, have a calm spirit. Then you have to learn how to speak to people. You have to be respectful of people. You can't just go around disrespecting people just because you think you're big, bad. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with all this. You got to come back to just respecting yourself and then you can respect other people. It's too much offense. It's too much madness going around. It's too much gossip. Y'all gossip more than y'all pray. Stop that foolishness. Gossip more than you pray. You ain't supposed to do that. And God did not assign you to assassinate your brother's character, or your sister's character. The devil's a lie. There's a way to do things. As a matter of fact, the Bible says there's a way that seems right to man, but therefore it's death. You're not supposed to. It's a way to do things. It's not what you do, but it's how you do it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And don't you know you hinder your own growth? You know, I'm going to be very transparent on here because I have to. I've always taught the prophetic classes since 2014. And I found out that I had one problem. I cared too much. Listen to what I'm getting ready to say. You know, if they would start doing stuff that maybe wasn't right or I knew them personally. Here I am trying to convince somebody to follow God or convince somebody to stop sinning. Or, I mean, I used to be like, get so upset with it. God said, Dana, what are you doing? He said, if they want to do what they want to do, let them. But I would get so upset, not because I was trying to control them. I didn't want to see them. You know how they say when you've been through stuff, you don't want to see other people hurt. Well, I can tell you something. It took me years to learn this. Now I let people go in that ditch. Listen to what I'm saying. If you want to go into that ditch, you can go. But I'm not going with you now. But here's the deal. And then after you fall in that ditch, I'm not going to say, I told you so, and laughed and mocked. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to be that sister that hand you my hand and say, come on, get up. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's what I've learned to do. I'm not going to try to convince you to follow God. I'm not going to try to convince you to do this. Now, the Bible says that he have I drawn you with love and kindness. That's why I say love people back to life. But what I used to do is I used to get so mad. Oh God, they're going to, they're going to, you know, just really hurting for people. Now, when people start that foolishness and they want to do what they want to do. And I know they're getting ready. Y'all don't understand. God shows me things. I don't know why. I mean, don't ask me. Ask God. And I'll be, I, I just, I just go into prayer. I say, okay. He said, Deanna, don't, don't even get yourself all worked up. Let them do what they're going to do. Because one thing I've learned, people got a hard head, and I had one too. And you see, after I fell so many times and I hit my head, oh, I'm straight now. Y'all get what I'm saying? Stop being in rebellion. It only costs you. It don't cost, Yeah, it costs people around you because, be honest with you, we all affect each other directly or indirectly, truth be told. But you're hindering your own growth. When you mess up, you want to do what you want to do. You don't see that? One, one, one reason that I truly got saved the way I am, I, God allowed so much stuff to happen. I ain't had no choice because I didn't want to be foolish all my life. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I, I see what I was doing was insanity, doing the same thing, expecting different results. Not going to happen. So what am I saying? You're going to learn. Oh, y'all going to learn. <laughs> now, how you learn, that's up to God. So rebellion, getting upset. Talking about people, being mad, acting childish. And I'm talking about young and old people. It does not matter. That's on you. But you're hurting yourself, God says. Because here's the deal. You're going to still do what he told you to do. 
after you've done this, after he's allowed that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So sometimes we hinder out. Sometimes we're our biggest enemy. It's not the next person. It ain't always the next person. If something keeps happening in your life, then maybe you should look at you because it's not always someone else. And I had to come to the realization of that. It ain't always somebody else, people. Some of them lies. It be true. You think they lies, but it's, every lie has truth. And every truth have a lie sometimes. Oh, come on, somebody. How do you? I'm just being real. Sometimes you just got to say, you know what? Lord, change me. I'm sitting up there looking at everybody. Lord, change me. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to be honest with you. Lord, change me. Lord, help me. That's all. That's all I want to say. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. Because God loves you. God loves you enough to show you you. And the truth be told, before you minister to other people, God going to show you you. Because if you ain't right, how you going to talk to somebody else? He says, take the blank plank out your own eye. And then you can help somebody else say, hey, you got something in your eye there. <laughs> All right. God bless you. God keep you. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. Have a blessed day, everybody. God bless. <laughs>